obviously this week wasn't wasn't easy. It wasn't easy for for Coach McDermott. Um, you can you can question a lot of things about coaching style. You can question a lot of things about my decision making. You can question a lot of things about this team. But to question his character and, and who he is as a man, that's there's no. You know, he's one of the better humans on this planet. Um, how he carries himself, and you know, we saw it for what it is. Um, we're just trying to focus on and winning each each week, one one game at a time. Um, I thought he uh, he came in. You know that that could have. You know, we, we felt for him. We, we felt for his family. We we, we felt for the individual because we know who Sean is. Um, I've been with him for five years, and Sean is not only an astounding football coach, a very resilient one, but is a good man. And, uh, and first and foremost, I mean, if guys have anything come up family-wise or anything like that, um, you know, I, personally, there's a story from me. I've dealt with anxiety in my past and some of them fairly open with. And a few years ago, we're playing away and uh, I'm having a really tough time before a game, uh, getting myself ready to go. And I don't know if I'm going to play or not. And uh, Sean pulled me aside in his office and, and just really sat me down as a man and said, you know, there's so much more to life than football. You know, you have a great family, and whatever happens on that field today is not going to relate to that. And uh, just go out there and fly around. And ever since then, um, it was just one of the most unique things that he did 90 minutes before a football game, an important one a few years ago. And uh, I know that wasn't what you asked, but uh, personally speaking for myself, uh, I'd do anything for that man.